today I'm going to be working a horse on mechanical cow. Um, I like to work horses on the mechanical cow a lot to um, just quicken their feet up, especially in that rollback. Today we're going to kind of focus on that rollback and get them kind of moving their feet a little bit more. Um, it's really good for those horses that want to be a little lazy footed. <clears throat> this horse is a eight year old gilding. And it's been shown quite a bit um, and you just gets a little stiff coming out of that roll back and using that shoulder and using that back end. So using this flag is really good because it makes him not, not worry about me so much. The flag is actually telling him to go and when to stop and when to turn and stuff. So it's really good because I'm not really the bad guy um, because he's, he's working that flag. I'm, I'm telling him to turn, but he's, he knows to track that flag. And I mean, with anything like we do, anything like we do, we have to teach them how to do it first. So like what I, I like to do first, is just get them to track that flag, you know, just let them follow it and teach them how to follow that flag. So, you know, like when you start doing this, I mean, there's gonna be a period where you're gonna have to just teach them how to do it, but you can still work on that rollback and still work on that procedure when you're doing it. So like when I first go, I just go real slow, let them even walk, let them stop with the flag. And this is really good too for horses that, that you want to draw on the ground and get off your hands and come, come to you a little bit more. Because what it does is it really makes them stay on their back end, it makes them use that back end better and come through a lot more. So like right here, I'll just turn the flag, let them go with that flag, and then we catch up to the flag. and then. We'll just go a little faster. You know, and the good thing about this is this has got a remote control. And so I can speed it up and slow it down right, right with my fingers. So I can change direction, speed it up, slow it down, do whatever I need to. Um, so if the horse is getting a little laggy, I can always speed it up, make it go a little bit more, and then, you know, slow it down if I need it, slow it down or whatever. So I'll just go ahead and let it turn, put my hands across, speed it up, let the horse catch up to that flag. Make him stop with the flag. When I'm doing this, when I make him stop with the flag, I stop the flag, then I stop the horse, just like anything else. Um, and this is really good about body position too. If you got a horse that wants to be a little pushy on your legs or, and because this, you want to stay about eight to 10 feet away from that flag when you're working it. So when you're working that flag, you want enough distance, but you want to stay on a good line. So it kind of tells you where your horse is going. And if your horse is, want to leap towards that flag or lean out away from that flag so it's kind of good for a lot of different things you know i work my young horses on it i work my older horses on it. it's really good for the older horses move that flag make it go make him go so now you kind of got the gist of what how i kind of get him teach him how to work the flag now i'm going to be a little bit more precise about making him work the flag and use the flag and work on the actual rollback so what I'm going to do is back him up and then I'm going to move that flag, make him stay straight, let him turn, speed that flag up, make him leave. So we let him leave, he kind of didn't stop with that flag, so we'll come back to it. So I'll back him up, move the flag, let him come through, go catch the flag. So once we go catch the flag, that's, that's, that's the, you know, the leaving from, from the rollback is actually catching the flag. So that's what actually makes them get on their back and butt and use their back end more. Move the flag, back the horse up, turn, speed the flag up. And see how he, he almost came through? So that's the thing is he knew to go catch the flag. So he went a little quicker. I'm just gonna back him up to the flag. We're gonna sit here, let him relax, turn, go catch a flag. But see, kind of licked out right there. So right there, I'm gonna make him back up, come to the flag, we're gonna go. Stop, back up, move the flag, speed it up, turn my horse, make him follow through. And you kind of see, kind of see right there what he was doing and how he was using himself. You know, he's a, now he's being a little bit more responsive. So that's what's actually telling him to move that shoulder. See how quick he moved that shoulder right there? I mean, that's going to quicken up his rollback. That's going to quicken up that front end leaving that rollback that much more. I'm gonna go up here, track the flag, back him up, move the flag, speed the flag up, let him come through, 
go catch the flat. Make him sit, make him wait. Now that he's moved it, now we'll just sit here and finish like that. So that, you know, right there, that was really good. You could see when he, when he got hooked up with that flag and actually started to follow the flag, how quick that shoulder moved, how quick that shoulder came through. You know, to me, I was never the bad guy. The flag was actually telling him when to go. I was controlling things and I was telling him to go. But to me, that, especially these older horses that get a little dull and get not wanting to be responsive and get a little stiff to your leg and a little stiff to your hand, this is really good because you're really never the bad guy. The flags are the bad guy or the flags are the object of what they're attracted to. You're just kind of dictating where their body needs to be. And you can see, I mean, he was really, really trying and really wanting to move through himself. And he hasn't been worked on the flag a lot. So, I mean, it doesn't take a lot to get him to do that. And I mean, it helps out tremendously. So, I mean, that's, to me, that's the benefit of working these flags and this flag it's completely portable and like I said I can control it from my fingers so I can speed it up and slow it down and and make it do what I want it to do and and, and it kind of helps my training process and you know because I can speed things up slow things down and it really helps out quite a bit.